Hello folks, welcome to the very first episode of Community Spotlight, where we feature the champions of tech community who are doing amazing work and are giving back to the community and society as a whole. Today we have Rishiraj Acharya, who is an organizer at TFUG Kolkata and is an ML engineer at DinoPi. Hey Rishiraj, thank you for joining in. Thanks for inviting me for this event and it feels really great to be able to share my experience with the community at large. Thanks Rishiraj. Well, for our audience to know you better, can you share some more details about yourself? Probably where are you based at currently? Um, what is your passion? And what is one thing that you love doing every day? Well, uh, my passion lies in using AI and ML to solve real world problems and uh, sharing the knowledge in my ML space uh, with the community in and around Kolkata. So yes, I'm based uh, at Kolkata. And uh, something that I do apart from my day-to-day -day job as an ML engineer would be uh, I play uh, chess at national level and uh, also I'm a good swimmer maybe. That is super amazing, Vishiraj. Well, as you said, your passion is serving through tech. And you have been a Kaggle Axe BIPOC mentor, where you mentored underprivileged children. Can you take us through your journey of mentorship? Yeah, so I'm a Kaggle competitions master, and uh, Google er organizes this uh, mentorship program called Kaggle X BIPOC mentorship. On uh, previously, it was a Kaggle X BIPOC grant. So there, they pair underrepresented students uh, from the Black and Indigenous uh, communities to. Uh, uh, industry experts and uh, professionals uh, so there they uh, learn about the data science uh, domain uh, they make uh, their dream, dream projects uh, in the data science and AI uh, uh, domain and in the process receive a thousand dollar grant from Google for successful completion so I've been fortunate enough to be a mentor uh, for some of the students uh, in the last couple of few months, wherein I mentored them uh, to uh, begin their journey in the AI and ML uh, field. And uh, uh, they got uh, their grant on successful completion of their um, projects. This is super inspiring, Rishiraj. Thank you for sharing this with us. Uh, well, you have also contributed to the TensorFlow community uh, during your GSOC journey. So um, can you take us through probably the project that you worked on and the contributions you made? Okay, so uh, a couple of years back, uh, one of my seniors, Shai Paul, recommended me to try out the TensorFlow Edition Forest Library back when it was released. So uh, back then I uh, uh, explored the library, published some of uh, the quality notebooks uh, I could uh, make and uh, one year back when uh, TensorFlow uh, came to GSOC with the idea proposal of uh, publishing Kaggle notebooks uh, based uh, around uh, TensorFlow Edition Forest, I took the opportunity. I worked under the mentorship of Josh Gordon and published uh, a dozen of notebooks uh, uh, covering uh, things like regression, classification, ranking tasks uh, for the Kaggle community uh, to get started with uh, the TensorFlow Edition Forest Library and uh, make practical um, submission files uh, uh, using that library. So in a way, I uh, uh, helped uh, the TFTF uh, library to uh, mature there. That is great, Rishiraj. Well, uh, you are an ML engineer currently at DinoPy, where you are trying to solve a real world problem through AI ML. So that sounds really fascinating to me. Can you share some more details about the problem that you are trying to solve as an ML engineer at DinoPy? Okay, so a couple of months back, uh, a Google developer expert, uh, Abhishek Thakur, uh, conducted a poll where it, uh, and the result came out that uh, less than 2% of uh, data scientists actually are working on uh, the audio domain. Uh, audio is an integral part of how we communicate. So I and DinoPy uh, am working on uh, making communication easier uh, through the application of uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, apart from uh, the audio domain, I also work uh, uh, in the natural language processing domain. 
and uh, the integration of NLP and audio to make uh, communication more seamless uh, across the borders. So that's one of the things that I'm working on at Dynopy. That is super interesting to know, Vishiraj. Uh, well, you have been in the community space for a while as an organizer at GDG Cloud Kolkata and TFG Kolkata. So can you share some learnings or the experiences that you might have had till now being a part of the community? Okay, so uh, back when I was in my college uh, days, in my first year, I was new to the tech uh, community. And uh, one of my seniors, uh, Anubhav Singh, introduced me uh, to the GDG community back then. And there I met with some uh, awesome people and uh, began my journey to the uh, ML uh, uh, space. So even in college, I was uh, in, uh, the ML lead of uh, our uh, GDSC chapter. But mm -hmm. uh, after I graduated from college, uh, I uh, thought of giving back to the community and uh, took my role as uh, the organizer of uh, uh, TFUG Kolkata. Now we organize uh, monthly meetups, regular interactive session with industry experts and uh, uh, share uh, the knowledge uh, with the local uh, developing uh, ML community in Kolkata. So that way we are helping uh, uh, the community around Kolkata to mature in the ML space. That is really inspiring to know, Rishiraj. To know about your journey from being a GDSC lead to organizer, um, from being uh, doing events with, say, students and doing now events with experts and professionals for Kolkata as a whole. So that's really inspiring to know, Rishiraj. So thank you very much for sharing that. Well, as you know, Rishiraj, um, well, there are a couple of folks out there right now uh, who are new to the tech community and who have very less idea about how to get started with the tech community or how to contribute back. So can you share some more nuggets or can you share some suggestions for them to get started? Okay, so uh, my suggestion to beginners would be to take small steps with the current scenario in ML and in tech in general, um, it's quite easy to uh, get overwhelmed with all the uh, fast progress that's happening around yourself. But it's easy to stay composed. Uh, it's uh, important to stay composed and uh, uh, make first uh, little steps uh, um, into your journey. Maybe uh, your first open source contribution, maybe uh, a first uh, commit uh, to an issue you found. Uh, then it would be a nice idea to uh, find local communities uh, around yourself. In the beginning, don't restrict yourself to one tech domain. It's important to explore all the tech domains out there, uh, find uh, where your passion lies, and then uh, get into some uh, uh, domain-specific uh, community. There are several communities around yourself, like uh, maybe uh, GDG, GDG Clouds, uh, Flutter um, community, TensorFlow uh, user groups. Um, attend their events, meet people over there, uh, learn from them. And uh, when it's time, uh, like uh, uh, when I felt uh, I was prepared, I took uh, my role as a speaker seriously. So even for you, if you feel you are confident enough in sharing uh, uh, the knowledge that you have learned through the community, as time you become a speaker uh, um, at uh, uh, events like DevFests, maybe maybe uh, uh, GCCD um, events around yourself. So yeah, uh, that you. will be my information. Thank you very much, Rishiraj, for sharing your nuggets with us. I'm sure uh, folks will be surely inspired to know more about your experiences, your learnings, and most importantly, the nuggets that you shared. Um, thank you very much for giving your time in a way. And thanks for joining. Thanks again for inviting me. And uh, it feels really uh, nice to be able to share my experience with the Google Developers community. Thank you. Thank you, Rishiraj. And thank you, folks, for joining. I hope you had a great time uh, hearing and learning from Rishiraj. See you in the next episode with one more champion from the tech community. Thank you and bye.